Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing a Xylus Suzy 3 garlic press and comparing that with a Kitchen Craft Professional garlic press. So there's the Kitchen Craft Professional garlic press. There's the Xylus one. Right. So let's have a look at it. If you look at these holes here, you can see that the pins are designed perfectly to go into the holes. Let's zoom in a bit. There we go. So there's about a millimeter short of um, of hitting the edge of the grill there. And the reason for that is so that it can push the garlic out and leave the skin behind a bit like a miniature potato ricer. So without further ado, let's stick a piece of garlic in. This is quite a large clove of garlic, but I usually use two cloves at once to save time. So bit of a squeeze and wow, look at that beautiful all right I'm gonna scrape this off look at that that's quite a lot of garlic from one clove have a look on the inside there you can see just about that there is uh, not much garlic remaining, a little bit stuck on the side there. We can use this tool now to remove it. So hit push in this button and the tool comes out the side. Doesn't need to be turned around. It fits perfectly in these holes here. Now, if I now turn it around, that's loosened the skin remaining on the inside and it scoops out. Look at that. Fantastic. Now, a bit of hot water will clean that quite easily. So, that's the end of this, um, the review of this garlic press here. Just going to put that to one side. Now, the next item is the Kitchen Craft garlic press. Now, I believe this one, not quite so advanced, I don't think. It's got some big holes there. And this press presses down into the inside, but if you listen, there's not a great tolerance on this. The um, the press actually doesn't push all the way down to the end there when it's resting in this holder here. And also it doesn't have pins like the Xylus. So this is a kind of a flat press. I've had this for a few months now. Um, in fact, not a few months, a couple of years. And if you have a little look at this press here, you can see it's begun to get a bit rusty there. So I'm gonna stick a clove of garlic in here. Ah, oh, and I forgot, I have to peel it first. So if you're timing how long things take, the reason I use a garlic press is because it's quicker and I think you get a better quality of garlic. It's um, it's pulped quite nicely and um, as opposed to chopping it and crushing it, which um, doesn't squish it up so much. And I don't think it permeates through the cooking so easily. You've just end up with smaller pieces of garlic if you crush it with a knife and chop it. So I think a garlic press gives you a much better quality of garlic um, for the cooking. Yeah, a bit fiddly there, but there we go. So I'm gonna stick that in there. Again, yes, this is, um, you do need to peel this one, I think, because uh, it's not designed to kind of push the skin, um, push the garlic through the skin and leave the skin behind. So let's give this a little bit of a squeeze and see what happens. Oh, well, not bad. little bit awkward there and well a bit of a mess on the inside there it's that'll do I suppose yes well it had to do in fact for the past year I've actually been using this for the past year but it's kind of not quite such a good quality of uh, garlic crushing as you can see little disc of garlic there re remains and then you have to maybe chop up the remains with a knife so I would definitely go with the Xylus. Um, I 
at that. Beautiful. Okay, here ends the review. Enjoy.